This is Sony Zeiss 55mm f1.8. I got this lens when I first got my Sony a7 III. I think initially it was announced in 2013 and it stormed the internet. Everybody was reviewing it, everybody told how good this lens was. And it still is a good lens. Initially I got this lens just for photography, but nowadays I'm using it for videography as well. You know, in fact, let me just switch to this lens. Sony 55mm f1.8 still a great option for videographers and photographers, especially if you require the more natural field of view. The photos and videos this lens produces are remarkable, and it's mind-blowing that it comes from this little lens. Even fits perfectly on a gimbal. Fast f1.8 aperture is really great for shallow depths of field, and especially great if you want to create this cinematic look. The fast aperture is also allowing for a better low light performance, which is very useful in a certain video shooting conditions. The out of focus system works really well, and it's really great if you need to capture a fast moving subject. The smooth focus ring allows for a precise focus shift and in manual mode, especially if you need to shift focus from one subject to another. The sharpness and minimal distortion and chromatic aberration of this lens makes it great for videography providing a clear, sharp image. However, this lens does not have image stabilization, which means handheld footage can be challenging. But on the other hand, most of cameras nowadays have in-body image stabilization. Also, it's a prime, which means you have to change the lens to, in order to get a different focal length. In 2023, Sony Zeiss 55mm f1.8 can still be a good option for videographers looking for a versatile, high-performing lens with a smooth focus frame. Let me know in the comments below if you own one or considering buying one. See you in the next video!